Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today's Gospel is giving us the contradiction and showing us the right path to heaven. So he is showing to us, he is telling us about light, a person or a a person goes with the light or in the light and the light is Jesus Christ and then on the other side darkness and he tells us also about somebody that he cares and loves the praise of God and the other one cares about the praise of people of men so the one who is going in the, in the dark and the one who is going in the light, you can, he, he can know by himself if he is going really into the dark or in the light. So you might ask yourself, am I going in the light? Of course, yes. Of course, because I believe in Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is the light. So as long as I am in, with Jesus Christ, that means I am in the light. But is there any part of darkness in, in me? You have to realize that and to, to ask yourself. How do I know that I am in the light or in the, uh, there is some of darkness in, in my heart? That out of your deeds and what you are doing, you will know where are you exactly. So if you are in the light, that the person in the light, that he, you find him, that he is the son of the light. So out of him, a light coming out of him, that to show other people the right path. And if there is any darkness in me, that means I will see the world in me. I will see the world in me. Then this is the big difference. So if I'm, if I'm, uh, praising the Lord most of the time, thinking about heaven most of the time, eternity and before in my eyes, that means I'm in the light. Reading the Bible, praying, love to pray, because if, if I pray, that, I, that means I am in the light and I'm in Christ Jesus. On the other hand, if I am imitating the world. I am just loving the world. That means there is darkness into my heart. You are the light. So the, the world has to imitate you. You are the light. That you have to shine. The, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. To the whole world to show them. That you are in the light. So you. You. Your, your deeds, your acts, and your even thoughts, it's in the light. You are thinking properly and doing everything in a very, very perfect way towards one goal, heaven. But those who are in the dark, they're always thinking about the dark and they want to be in the dark. And of course, what, what can I do? It is one in the darkness can be in the light? Of course, even if you are in the deep, deep, deep of the darkness, you can be also in the light, if you decide so. You say, yeah, Abuna, you are right, but you know, I like the darkness. I love, sometimes I love sin. I like to sin. But you have to fight you have to fight the darkness in you so you will be in the light. And the light, Jesus Christ, will help you to come over any darkness in you. I remember that, that I, w I went to one, to one of the churches in Lower Egypt. And I, before that I was in solitude. In solitude that I'm in the desert alone for years. So they told me that there is one of the metropolitan uh, sick and he might die and he needs you to be with him. So I went, I stayed with him for two years. He didn't die, so I left him back and went back. So I, while I was there, I went to one of the churches 
and they told me, Abuna, the girls, the servants, Abuna, there is a very bad girl here. You have to kick her out of the church now. I said, what? I don't. I don't do that. They said, no, you have to obey. I said, no, I'm not. I'll not kick anybody out of the church. They said, it's not by your cho choice. She is an evil girl. I said, evil? We are all bad. Don't say that. They said, look, we'll tell you the truth. If you don't kick her out of the church, she will pick one of the guys and she will go and commit adultery with him. And God will ask you for his soul. So you have no choice. Oh my goodness, what can I do? If I leave her, she will destroy a life of somebody else. And if I kick her out of the church, I will feel guilty the rest of my life. So I was going in the church very upset, very crying to the Lord, help me, Lord. If I could do, uh, run out of the church and leave the church, I would do it. But uh, because I, there is no only, I am the only priest there. So I kept praying to the Lord to help me. And uh, while I'm going there around until I reached her, and she was very, very, uh, I mean, obvious. You can, you can know her very easy because she forgot to wear most of her clothes before she comes. So when I reached there, I said to her, uh, would you like to take a communion? She said, a communion? A communion? I said, yeah. She said, huh, who's the idiot guy who give me a communion? I said, I am the only one here in this church. So I will give you the communion. She said, give me a communion. You, you know, they don't give me a communion here. They kick me out of the church. I said, yeah, I know, but I will not. She said, why? Yeah, you know, if you don't kick me out of the church, they will kick you out of the church. I said, don't worry about me. I will go to my monastery and I'll pray for you the rest of my life. She said, why you disgrace yourself for my sake? I said, I'm, I'm not disgraced myself for your sake. He is the one who disgraced himself for your sake, Jesus Christ. They spit on him for your sake. They nailed him for your sake. They crowned him for your sake. While I'm saying that, she, the girl said, Stop, stop, please stop. Don't say any more, anything more. Please. Wow. God's grace is working in her heart. The evil girl. So I begged her and I said, Please, my daughter, stay and take the communion with us. She said, Your daughter, do you accept me to be your daughter after you, you heard from them? bad stuff about me I said actually you are not my daughter you are my mistress I have to bow down and wash your feet here she said please Abuna don't say these words please it's cut my heart I said okay can you take the communion with us she said I will tell you the truth if I take the communion just to tease those who are inside I said okay go ahead no problem she went to the room of the communion and all the girls and ladies took aside because she's an evil. They said the dark, and they thought that they are in the light. They thought that they are in the light. So she is in the dark, and she, they are in the light. Then, in the middle of the liturgy, the church became full. And do you understand what is full in, in Egypt? It means there is at least 900 uh, people in the church, full. So the girl uh, the, called me and said, are you the worst priest I ever met in my life? Are you waiting for the church to be full and kick me in front of everyone in, in town, out of the church? Why you are you doing that? I said, I am the worst priest. Yeah, you're right. But to kick you out of the church? No, I, I couldn't and I will not be able to do it. So you just raise your heart and pray. She said, I don't believe you. Are you going to give me a communion while I'm like that? I said, like that? What like that? She said, I am almost naked. I said, yeah, I can see. But Jesus has a laser eye. Goes directly to the heart. He will search your heart. So please pray. Just pray. She said, I cannot take a communion. I am not dressed well like that. It's too bad. I ashamed of myself. Wow. The bad girl, the bad girl, the evil girl, she's ashamed to take a communion while she's not dressed well. 
So I said to her, okay, I cover your head with a scarf. She said, what about my back? I said, another scarf. What about my chest? Third scarf. So my arms and my legs. I said, surrounded with scarf as much as you can. She said, oh my goodness, I be, I'll be in a coffin or what? I said, almost. So uh, I told her, that I have a galabea in my car. Can I get you my galabea? She said, black? I said, yeah. She said, no, I don't wear black. I said, I'm sorry, I don't have any other colors. <laughs> then the, the girl, uh, I asked her, is your house close to here? She said, yeah. I said, okay, go and wear something else and come. She said, uh, okay, I will. So I begged her, please come back, please, for my sake. She said, I will. Sure, Abuna, I will come back. And uh, she came back in the time of the communion. She kept going out of the line. Every time she came closer to the communion, she came out of the line to the end of the line until she became alone. And the, the deacon that he hated her and hated me too, he yelled at her and said, why you are standing? Come and take a communion if you are going to. So she came quickly and she opened her mouth and she went back with her head and she said, I'm sorry, I will not take a communion. I said, why? She said, because I am an evil girl. I'm very bad. I am the worst girl in this town. When I don't know anything about me, I'm very bad. I can't take a communion. I'm not worthy. I said to her, believe me, my daughter, this, this communion, this body of our Lord Jesus Christ is for the bad people, not for the good people, for the wicked not for the righteous. He came especially for me and you. He came to, to change you from darkness to light. Just give him a chance and he will, he will teach you what to wear, what to say, and what to do. Just let him in. And uh, she said, can I sit with you after the liturgy? I was so happy to hear that. And believe me, since... Uh, 36 years or so, uh, I, I stayed with, I, I, I sat with many, many people and uh, I heard uh, and I've seen a lot of repentance, but I never seen such repentance of the evil girl. She was very, very good. She changed completely. She reminded me of those who are the saints in the first few centuries uh, of the Christianity. So, she changed, why? Because the light, she let the light in to her heart. So he changed her from light, from darkness to light. Any one of us can do that. Any one of us can ask Jesus Christ to change him. You have a weakness? Don't worry, Jesus can change you. You have a sickness? Don't worry, just let Jesus be in. You have, you have anything, you have, you, you have any problem in your life. Just go to Jesus and he will change the darkness to be light. Today, Naharda in Gilead, Naharda, we talked about the light and the darkness. And we love the light of God and the light of the world. The one who loves God, he loves God and he loves God. He does everything to God and he loves God. Not so that he loves people. Not so that he loves people. يعني انت ممكن تروح تجيب اديداس عشان اه الناس كلها تشوفك لابس اديداس يا ولد مجد العالم الموضه اليومين دول انك تنزلي شعرك الناحيه دي ولا الناحيه دي هتنزلي تحلقيه احلقيه خالص حته حمراء وحته خضراء وحته زرقاء اتس اوكي مجد الناس عشان الناس تتبسط وتقول عليا كول ام كول يا فرحتي بيك طب ما انت انت ممكن تبقى كول في عينين الناس بس مش كول في عينين ربنا. انت مين بتحب مين اكتر بقى او مين اللي بيهمك اكتر؟ فاللي بيحب مجد ربنا ده بيحب انه يفرح ربنا. اللي عايش في النور وعاوز ربنا بيحب يفرح ربنا. فيقول له ايه اللي بيبسطك يا رب؟ ايه اللي بيبسطك؟ اتكلم معاك؟ انا ما استاهلش اصلا اتكلم معاك، لكن بيبسطك ان انا اتكلم معاك؟ هصلي يا رب. هفضل اصلي على طول اي تشانس هلاقيها اي فرصه الاقيها عشان اصلي هصلي عشان انا عاوز ابسطك يا رب بحبك بحب مجد الله اكثر من مجد العالم انت لما تحب تبسط واحد صاحبك بتعمل ايه؟ 
بتهانج اوت توجذر بتخرج معاه وتتمشى وتعالى نتقابل هنا وفي الكافي وستاربكس النهارده وكوسكو بكره وتفضل لازق له اللزقه المهببه دي ليه؟ عشان انت بتحب فلان كويس خالص امال لما بتحب يسوع ما بتعملش كده ليه؟ يبقى في سمثينج رونج يا اما انا ما بحبش يسوع يا اما انا مش في حاجه غلط يعني هقول لكم حاجه بسيطه خالص يعني لو لو في النهارده عندنا خروجه الفاميلي دي والفاميلي دي والفاميلي دي هيخرجوا مع بعض يروحوا على البيتش فيقعدوا يتناقشوا طب هنصحى الساعه كام؟ لا هنصحى الساعه اه لا هنصحى الساعه 6 عشان ناخد اليوم من اوله ونرجع الساعه 5 فهيبقى عندنا وقت الساعه 6 تلاقيهم كلهم صاحيين وعينيهم مفنجله وقاعدين في العربيه والعيال اكسايتد وحاجه يعني رايحين بيكنيك ولا رايحين حاجه كده على البيتش ولا بتاع فهم نسيوا خالص ان مثلا انهم تعبانين انهم محتاجين يرتاحوا نسيوا ده كله ليه؟ عشان حابين الجروب ده وحابين يخرجوا معاه فيقول لك نروح تعالى بقى نقلب الحكايه على ربنا فربنا بقى هو اللي اكسايتد يلا انت بكره لحد انت جاي لي صح؟ اه يا رب جاي لك لا انت انت مبسوط طبعا هنبقى مع بعض مضطر ليه يا حبيبي بس ده احنا ده انا يسوع ده انا اللايت يعني ده انا هشيلك من الظلمه للنور هشيلك من الظلمه للنور انا النور هتجي لي هتنور و... والناس هتشوف النور بتاعي جواك وكل الناس هتتغير حواليك حاضر ما انا جاي طب الصبح بدري بقى خلي بالك من يبكر الي جدني هجي لك هجي لك حاضر يا رب هجي لك بس هو القداس بيخلص الساعه كام؟ الله يا حبيبي انت مش بتسال القداس بيبدا الساعه كام؟ لا خلي القداس يبدا للشمام سوابونا اتس اوكي لكن بيخلص الساعه كام عشان يجي يعني قبليها بساعه كده ولا حاجه يا حبيبي بس انت مديون لي اصلا انت اصلا مديون لي ها؟ ها؟ شوف انت بتفكر ان انت بتدي العشور هو العشور عشور الفلوس بس؟ لا عشور كل حاجه فانا ليه عشور كل حاجة. عشور؟ اه يعني 24 ساعة ليا فيهم 2.4 2 او 4 من 10 2.4 hours في, في اليوم. يا نهار ابيض ساعتين وتلت ولا ثلاث ساعات الا تلت ده كتير قوي يا رب. طب خليهم ساعتين اتس اوكي. Okay. ساعتين في سبعة ب 14 ساعة. أنا ليا عندك 14 ساعة. وأنت مش راضي تديني ساعتين قداس؟ اصل يا رب بقى الواحد يوم الحد بيبقى تعبان ولو عندك رحله معلش بقى خلينا اصل انت يا رب طيب فهو ناكل حقك بسهوله ما فيش مشكله وتفضل تبرجم مع ربنا وتناقشه لانك مش مع ان انت لو بصيت فيها كويس هتلاقي ايه الواحد بيعيش بيعيش كام سنه 100 سنه 120 120 ربنا يديك الصحه طول العمر كله انا هحسبها لكم على 60 بس 60 سنة مش 120 وانتوا اضربوها في اثنين او في ثلاثة لو عاوز تعيش 180 ولا حاجة. فايه؟ آه 60 سنة بيقول لك علماء العلماء بيقولوا ان احنا بننام ساعات النوم عندنا افريج 12 ساعة 12 ساعة في اليوم لان آه وانت صغير قوي كنت بتنام آه 20 ساعة وحضرتك لما تعجز خالص ربنا يديك الصحة طول العمر هتنام 20 ساعة برضه. فايه الافريج ما بين تقريبا 12 فانت لو عشت ال 60 سنه 30 سنه حضرتك نايم 30 سنه بتاكل رز ولبن مع الملائكه يو ار نوت ذير خالص اوكي 30 ييرز اوت اوف 60 طيب ال 30 التانيين بقى هتلاقي نفسك انك في الشارع قصدي في الشغل ولا في المدرسه ولا في السكول 8 ساعات 20 سنه 20 سنه انت بتدي للعالم حقه اكله ولا عشان تاكل عيش وكده وتشتغل وكده اتليست 20 سنة ف 20 و 30 يبقوا 50 فاضل ايه؟ 10 سنين حضرتك في اليوم على الاقل بتاكل ساعتين بتاكل وتستحمى يعني تخش التواليت وبتاع ساعتين اتليست يعني فدول خمس سنين خمس سنين بتاكل في التواليت خمس سنين ايماجن اوف يور لايف اف يو ليف 60 ييرز لو تعيش 60 سنة خمس سنين منهم ضايعين خالص حضرتك عمال تاكل وكده خمس سنين فاضل ايه؟ بنتكلم على ساعتين في النهار اوت اوف 24 ساعه فاضل ساعتين تخيل كل اللي بنتكلم عليه الساعتين دول 
وابونا يا عيني انطوني وسيط عب معك وجمعة تعالوا القداس بدري تعالوا احضروا جماعة ويطبطب عليك ويبوس في ايديك ورجلك عشان ايه بس الناس ده تيجي للقداس ساعتين 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 ونص ولا حاجة توقف تسبح ربنا يا اخي ده 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 انت يا رب ده انا مديون لك ب 14 ساعه وهديك ساعتين وقول كمان اجتماع ساعتين ولا حاجه اربع ساعات انا لسه مديون ب 10 ساعات فاحنا احبائي لازم نعرف ان احنا نفرق بين النور والظلمه وناخد بالنا كويس جدا ان ما ما نحاولش نخش في الظلمه انت اللي بايديك بتخش في الظلمه لان يسوع نفسه ان انت تبقى في النور على طول يسوع بيحب انه ينورك من جوه وينور قلبك فانت اعمل الجزء بتاعك علشان يسوع يقدر يشتغل في قلبك لالهنا كل مجد وكرام من الان والى ابد لبونا في <تصفيق>